monster train. Ooh. You got dark mode and light mode. You got like crystals and stuff like that. Oh. What does that do? Just turns on the DLC. Oh. Do we want the DLC on? Yeah, that's what we're testing. Oh, is that on? I thought that was off. No, this is on. See those crystals and stuff? Oh, okay. This is weird to have the on beat this way. Yeah. New clan unlocked. Resurrect the reclusive Wormkin. These keepers of Titan lore and history bring the power they've stored over millennia of dedicated study and isolation. That seems pretty good. The Wormkin. gonna go up in covenant rank no i'm just gonna go to one so we get the extra cards depart okay i got no idea how to play this <laughs> what are you talking about dude we just watched Rhapsody, Rhapsody play you should have it all on your brain so let's see here we have charged we have echoes which are things that happen that do things <laughs> don't know what they are as an additional cost to play this card. An echo will be spent. Yeah. But then by playing it, add one echo by playing infused cards. And we can use echo to power spells and abilities. Oh, so it's supposed to role play the idea that they are a uh, titan. They're, they control lore and stuff like that. So echoes like echoes through time of like knowledge. I gotcha. Here, when played, the current floor will gain, will gain one echo. Return a spell card from the discard pile to your hand, and apply infused. So infused gives you an echo. Okay, and extract takes an echo. Okay, negative one energy and consume. Take on packed shards in exchange for rewards. The more you have, the more powerful your enemies will grow. If you defeat Seraph with 100 shards or more, you will unlock the true final battle. We have Sinner's Salve, uh, Blights, and uh, Bridges cost negative 1. And Traitor's Quill, when a card with Consume is played, deal 30 damage to the front enemy unit. Seems like it might be pretty good, considering we probably will have a lot of cards that have Consume. Yeah. All right, we have the Infector and the Decayer. Infector, you gain one. I'm assuming that's every turn. On, on Strike. On Strike, yeah. And then Inspire. What does Inspire do? Triggers Echo. It triggers when Echo is added to a floor for each Echo added. So the, their effects trigger. Oh, Inspire. And then the effect of Inspire is apply Reap 2 to enemy units. And Reap uh, d unit takes damage equal to the amount of Echo for each stack of Reap. Wow. So if you have 10 Echo, you'd be doing 20 damage. That seems pretty good. It's just that you have to rely on other things to give you Echo to make that happen. Yeah. So far, the only thing that we have that... We have this. We have all these shards that give you Echo. Wait, it says Infuse. Yeah, okay, yeah. We have quite a few things that give us Echo. Just like this is like big brain and this is like I don't know strike do damage it's up to you man uh, we'll go for big brain I guess divine boons gain a hundred gold and ten shards uh. right off the fucking bat all right so the trial here is enemy units enter with armor 10 and we get an additional unit draft. Is that worth it? Oh, yeah. It's also been like forever since I played. Oh, so yeah. It's going to be interesting. Fill up charged echoes to empower Wormkin units and spells on that floor. Echo that exceed the available, uh, those thingies will disappear at the end of the turn. Play infused cards to add echo to that floor. The Wormkin starting artifact, Wormtooth, 
applies infused to, t to starter cards and one card per draft. Okay. And we can immediately play sharded and get our, our effects out. Yeah, and we don't want to do that because it's going to re... Gonna, yeah, so by using ex Echo Infusion, we extract, which means it'll ruin our reap damage and all that. Okay. Yeah. Grip Fall, so we can descend a unit and apply Dazed. Oh, we can descend like that big guy, or, or, or one of them down again. Primitive Bold, Infused, Reform a Random Unit. Zero available. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use that. Oh, do you not want to descend somebody and instead just apply Dazed? Yeah. Where should we get more Infuse? Just give us Infuse that does. It's nifty. Oh! Oh, so your your um uh your reap doesn't do any damage if you don't have infuse on that floor. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have to start using infuse on other floors to build up the amount. That way when they pass up, you're just doing damage every time. Turn a spell card from the discard pile to your hand and apply infused. Negative one and consume. Okay. And get another shard back. And it'll be free. Or we can get this and get infused and extract. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> well, let's apply. Oh well, yeah, let's let's definitely put a true train steward down for sure. And then I guess imply our infuse and stuff. That's good. Yeah. Oh, but we're out of. Yeah. Ooh, we might just lose here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can return soul. We can also primitive mold our unit back. Yeah. Okay. Might as well. Oh, nice, nice, nice. There we go. I mean, using that does nothing. Primitive mold. Nice. And we don't lose. Easy peasy. I wasn't worried at all. <laughs> okay, so we got bog fly plus five damage per in. Uh, e Echo, that's cool. Hosting kin, deal 13 damage to a unit and move it to the back. And it does an, an extract. Um, echo transfer, extract two, but then also do infused. And then apply 15 damage. This is interesting because certain things happen upon infusion and upon extraction. So it's interesting that they specifically did extract two, but then infuse, you know? Um, I'm leaning towards Bogfly or Echo Transfer. 
what the fuck does our guy even do inspire by reap two yeah so that's why when you play your um okay. your shard doesn't ones, do it on but he only does it on in shard or when you do a shard not on attack yeah um okay but that's why when you play the sharded both units every time was getting it is because his effect was also gone. Yeah, I like echo. We have drafts. Oh, that's right, because our, our our other one is the other guys. Yeah. Hmm. I think stealth would be good. I could see that. Having something that we can also bring back from molded and that has a multi strike might be nice too, but I think, you know, stealth might be pretty good. There's also like being able to apply a bunch of burnout to guys, but you know. Bog Chrysalis, shell five. What is shell? Unit you know, will hatch when all shell is removed. Okay. When it hatches, it summons two bog flies. Nice. And the bog fly are the ones that get plus five damage per echo. Okay. And then what's that guy on the right? Infused, harvest, plus... Okay, yeah. Okay. That's good if we're expecting to have somebody die a lot. And the Shard Soul Carver. Getting plus two damage and armor for every time there is uh, an, infu a, an echo is added. Hmm. It's another like lore dude, you know. Yeah. Kind of like this because if we can get burnout one endless on this molten encasement, then. No matter what, this guy's getting harvest triggers every turn. We can try that. All right. So in order to do that, we need to we need to go on to the right then to get Merchant of Steel, right? Yeah. Should we wait until we've upgraded stuff? Like do that middle one last? Okay. Big boy stone. Upgrading unit with plus one capacity, plus 15 damage, plus 40 health. Upgrading unit with plus three attack per echo. And upgrading unit, yeah. Mm. Glare Minder has sweep. And then etch. What's etch? Triggers when a card is consumed on this floor. Okay. And then upon etching, applies reap two to units. Or first of kin. Every time you consume. So this is, this is if you're doing... Uh, if you have a lot more consume, I guess. We seem to be doing an inspire deck <laughs> at the moment. Yeah. But we also had the other thing that works with consume, right? The quill. I think it might be out of the two. I think it's better to get the glare miner because it is a two capacity card and we already have two. Well, no, the, uh, the big guy, what's his capacity? Three. And then the other big guy? Two. The, the one we just got? Two. We oh. need a <clears throat> capacity for... Yeah. To fit all three of them on one floor. The, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Gotcha. I just like sweep a lot, too. Okay. I think Echo Stone is nice. To, especially if, uh, to put it on um, the the guy in the bottom there. Because he'll be getting double now. He'll be getting the Harvest and the Infusion. Especially if we put him on the same floor as our main dude. It's either that or put it on the Glare Reminder so our sweep unit gets upped. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because we kind of want multi-strike on this guy and stuff like that. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. There's multi strike. No, what did you say you wanted on him though? You wanted. Oh no, you didn't want. Yeah, f you wanted endless and everything on the other guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm, I'm. I'm not sure if we should grab these unless you think that uh, strength stone would be good for the sweep guy or something. Also, it might be nice just to give one of our train stewards more health, so he's a better like temporary tank. That's true. All right, so I barely know how any of this works, but we spend shards. Yo, what up, corn? Hey, corn. <laughs> How's it going? We don't spend shards, we gain shards. Oh, duh. Right, so we can do upgrade a spell to gain, create a copy with purge. So what's purge? It uh, yeets it from your deck after you use it. And then Rhapsody was saying that he had one purge card that came back around somehow. Well, yeah, every time you play that card, you'll get a copy of it purged. Uh, I see, I see, I see. Never it, mind, got 33rd IVDW sub -turning. Nice. Not never mind, nothing much. Nothing much, you're right. He didn't have the V in there. I'm a dummy. So this shows you if you literally just, like, yeet that card. Mm-hmm. Then you gain that effect you can put on another card. Mm -hmm. So it might be good to try to eat like a train steward and we'll be getting plus five attack and plus 15 health on somebody. Yeah, but it counts as one of those thingies. It's one of those what? It counts as a... Oh, I see. That counts as an upgrade. Uh, but lost to two net play warriors. Damn. It might be cool to um, eat a train steward and then put it on another train steward. You know what I mean? Hmm. At the same time, I'm not sure if we... This is hard. This is like... You make a plan about what, what creatures you want, and then at the same time, you're like, yeah, but which one can I just, like, eat to make another one better, you know? Could have made top 32, but lost to two net play warriors, Faust and 404. I know Faust. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's still pretty respectable. Yeah. So it's interesting. Oh, is this the new pog of the day? <laughs> Scroll up to... Uh uh, glare Minder. So his stuff right now, he has sweep and then etch, and then plus three attack per infuse. And then when you go show his unit essences, it gets plus five health and etch um, to apply to somebody. Okay, I, I just wanted to see. So no, no matter how much you upgrade a unit, um, when you when you take their essences, it doesn't take those upgrades with you. You it lose does. those. It just gives you. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought it just gave you more. Yeah, that's what I wanted to check to see if you could, like, do something like that. What is intrinsic? Maybe it's, uh, they're always in your starting hand or some shit. We can check the logbook, can't we? Oh, it starts in your opening hand. Yep. Hmm. And spell chain, when played, a copy of this card will be added to the hand with purge. Okay. There's something that we always won on our first hand. Um, Not really, right? There's nothing... Look, yeah, there's no, uh, special... Sp Spell that's like, ah, oh, sick, you know, like, uh, yeah, we don't have a, not yet, right? Yeah. So I guess Twinstone might be the one we go for here. Yeah. There's no, like, definite let's eat a, a unit scenario, but I think Twinstone might be interesting for either this or this. Yeah, those two. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you, you make the choice. Alright, 
25. Who'd you play in the netplay tournament? Like Fox. Oh, gotcha. Threat level's already orange. God damn. You been doing anything else, man? Been a long time. Yeah. How's it been? All right. Is it good to put our glare minder on the same floor as our main dude right off the bat, or that'll fill up the floor immediately? No, I don't think so. I think it's better to have somebody in front of him. Yeah. Oh. You can. You just gotta remember to plant fusions in that floor. Um, if we still can consider playing Osu a different thing, yeah. Uh, then yeah, I've been playing lots of Osu, I'm trying to get better. <laughs> nice. What sucks is now we don't get his effects, but because we're full on that floor, we need to get something to increase our capacity. Yeah. I'm rank 300k. That's pretty good. I know a lot of people play. I'm not doing anything to improve rank right now because I'm only caring about skill set. That makes sense. Okay, you yeah, know, you gotta have a good foundation. Can you drift fall that guy up above? So we can get hit by the um the uh sweep. So you can play this and extract two if you only have one. Yeah. Nifty. So I would play that first then. Right? Because then if you do infusion afterwards, it's more effective. Oh, and we have the thing, yeah. Um, at the 10k to 6 million ranks, rank doesn't matter. Like, rank doesn't represent skill. Gotcha. In my opinion. Okay. Yeah, it'll be better to give it to him. Ouchie. <laughs> oh, perfect. Just cuz. Let's put the wicked fairy on the front top floor. Why not? He was killed by that little dude. <laughs> All right, we got Shard Trap, Infused, apply Reap 1 to enemy units. That's pretty good. Uh, hosting Kin, Extract 1, deal 13 damage to unit, and move it to the back. We saw that one earlier. Downing Echoes, Consume. So we have another Consume card. Might you might want to grab that. And, apl and apply a fused to, Infused to cards in hand. Ooh, does that uh, double up on Infused, on already Infused cards? or No idea. I think we should take it. But that's just my curiosity. You know? uh, purifying cleanse, restore 15 health, and apply burnout 3 Dewey friendly, friendly units. Uh, molded, infused, reform a unit. And then molten casement again. I think we take molded. Uh, we've been doing any net play stuff? We have not. No. Nope.
Kenho's vessel infused shell eight. And when it hatches, it summons Kenho's Poopa, which is an armor 20 units. And upon strike, it, it applies Reap 2 to enemy units and it has 50 attack and 10 health. Pretty good. Yeah, we can just set it behind something. We can also grab this to yeet it. And, and then infuse it to the Wickless, uh, the Wickless Baron? Or yeah, or grab another one and then yeet it into the itself. Wickless. Yeah. Yo, we should do that. There's an idea. Um, oh, I've been also messing around in CSGO. Nice. Hmm. I mean, I think we go left. Yeah. Doubles is also fun for rollback. Yeah, I thought that it doubles. We should probably do that. You know, it's carapace. carapace. Uh, when you summon, it gets plus, uh, it gives plus ten attack, plus ten health, and plus one capacity per. How is it? Echo. Like, per echo, so it gets bigger and bigger per echo. Interesting. Instead of having 12 buffer, you just have 8 buffer. Nice. And then Bog Chrysalis, it's another shell card. Summon 2 Bog Fly units. I still think that this card's pretty good. Because you could essentially put, put Bog Chrysalis on an already full floor, and then you'll over capacity the floor and be able to have extra units. I think, I think this one would be really good on the floor with our sweep unit. Leffen's Visa followed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He came funny. in yeah, a while ago. Uh, refracting lenses. When a card with consume is played, restore five pyre health. Rationing scales. Before each battle, gain two coins per pyre health over 40 and set pyre health to 40. Yo, that's pretty sick. So if we go below f f 40, we can always just have an up back to 40 again. And then if we happen to have more health, then we gain money. I feel like it's pretty good. I think this limits our pyre health to 40. How so? It doesn't remove pyre health. It just... You just get Before money. each battle, gain two gold per pyre health over 40 and set pyre health to 40. Oh. Like, these would be good together. They would, wouldn't they? Yeah. Well, damn. I mean, is that a risk we're willing to take? No. Okay. Then we can just get that one then. The shivering blacksmith braces against the stinging wind from afar. One would easily mistake her for a small mountain. Not like I want to come out here, you know. Just... You always come by the forge at the worst times, and there's always so much business that, that I forget that some other more important things I'm working on. Uh, well, hmm. Anyways, I'm working on something new, a hammer of sorts. And yes, before you ask, she'll help you out, and you're sorry a lot. It's just, uh, well, she doesn't like work. She, she doesn't work like she should. She's got a bit of a mind of her own. So I figure you could take her with you and help me out for once. Uh, just needs a little fine-tuning is all. Those birds around five times, I'll do the trick. So, yep, yeah, for a little fine-tuning. So we got good old Wingmaker. Deal six damage to enemy units two times. Slay plus one capacity on this floor. That's pretty good. Or nothing. Oh, grab it. <laughs> that does indeed seem dope. Yep. <laughs> All right. We have value stone. Upgrade a spell to cost negative two. That's pretty good. Uh, purge stone. Upgrade a spell with negative one at, uh, at cost and purge. So it means. I don't think we can take these. You think it'll be too hard? Yeah. We don't have any spells that are super high cost anyways. Yeah. And then Oh, did we wanna Oh, but this is where we This is where we wanted to do that thing with our guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But do we wanna wait? We'd have to wait all the way till here. Why? Because that's where the Temple is. Oh, that's where the next temple is. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Well, so that's so the question is then: do, Did we want to play at a fifty? 
for the next like th three or four or do we want to wait play at a 25 not and, and have just two barons the whole time you know like is it worth having that 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 double baron play that we were talking about but at a 50 I mean, we might not be able to take some. Yeah. No, I think we wait. Okay. I think, yeah, I think it, we just wait. We just don't even play the Baron. Alos. A level? Oh, huh, not so bad. Friendly units enter with sap one. Great. Okay. Well, I definitely think Spine Chief on the first floor is good. We just need to play. We just, we, if we play the Spine Chief on the first floor, we have to play um, a, this is something to give him uh, infusion so that his Reaper can take those guys out, like, first try. Yeah, but that's not until the end of the turn, so it's like. Yeah. You take 15 plus 14. So, a lot. 29 damage. Yeah. So, in that case, we don't play anybody on the first floor? Yeah, I don't think we play anybody on the first floor. We want to do that because that uh, that's just just our capacity now. We have no, to no, we the have hammer. the hammer. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And play the glare minder on the top floor. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Bog Chrysalis and there. Is it? Yeah, sure. I think I'm just more sharded. I don't know. Oh, it might be good to put the Wiggles Burn on the first floor. So he'll get the uh, the bonus from the guy dying. Damn, I was really hoping for a. Uh... Oh, why? Uh, I just realized. Scroll up. Why do we put the fucking chrysalis in the back if it needs to be attacked to lose its hatch? Does it need to be attacked? Yeah. What does it say? When all stacks of shell have been removed. Echo is oh. removed to remove the shell. Oh, it needs echo. We, okay, we just gotta do echo. Okay, okay, cool. So infused doesn't stack. What do we got? Hmm. But yeah, put him on the bottom floor. 
but if he dies. Oh, it's full. Damn. Ah, there it is. Good old winged boy. Except now, like... Just in the way. <laughs> and I can't put it anywhere. Well, I mean, you'll do, just, you'll do damage to the boss. I don't care about doing six damage to the boss. Well, we'll do six damage twice. <laughs> but I'm just talking about increasing the uh, the capacity on that floor. I, mean, I can. It has to kill something. Oh, I see. Okay. I, okay. I forgot that I had to kill my bed. Well, why did it kill all three? Because oh, I guess it does. It does six damage twice to every unit. That's that would be crazy. Yeah. Weird. Now we have a huge floor up there. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah. Oh, sick. He's dead. Well, she's dead. Formless Child gets infused and is extinguished uh, upon extinguished return a random defeat unit to your hand and apl apply plus 40. That's pretty good. Worm Connections, uh, on cons it's a consumed card. Return five consumed spells to the top of your draw pile. That's pretty sick. And then Bounty Stalker. That guy just looks like a Bloodborne unit. Uh, stealth 1 ex on Extinguish, uh, plus 8 attack permanently. That's kind of late. It is, well... I think that would be really great to use in conjunction with the Baron. That's true. I'll, I think all three of these are good cards. It's, it's tough. I think from a concept standpoint, uh, Worm Can Edgings is a little bit less easy to justify. How many cards do we have, say, to consume? One. We got two or three. One. We only have one? We'd always get bounty echoes every time. It's just that we have we, we have two things that rely on uh, that, that that proc on consume. But yeah. also I mean, like I think we just like take it for the future. Okay. Okay, okay. Kinhos Vessel, Shell 8, Hatch, Summon Kinhos Poopa, Wickless Baron again, and then Bog Chrysalis again. What's the essence that we get from Bog Chrysalis? Summon. Upon Summon. Whoa. <laughs> Think about that, dude. Applying Summon to Bog Fly units on, on our other Bog Chrysalis. That's pretty good. Armor 5 and Strike. Apply Reap to one unit. That would be good on... Uh, if, if we were to sacrifice our Kano's Vessel, that would be great on our um, Glare Minder. 
Yeah, let's go. Okay. You think that one? Yeah. Okay. You up here with quick health or damage. Who do we want to have quick? Oh, uh, quick for a multi strike. Can we just re -roll? Re -roll. Reload. Um, green with plus five, plus five, and burnout. So that'll, that'll guarantee that it'll just go out like faster. Mm -hmm. We can upgrade another unit with multi strike on a sweep unit. That would be nice. But then that would fill them up. So. Just skip. Okay. I mean, we'll we'll just we'll see. Hmm. We don't really have anything to put in intrinsic out yet, do we? No. I feel like we engage packed. It's and like we you. get rid of either our Wickless Baron or our other guy. Yeah. So whichever one you want to do. Nice. And we just have uh, the Dark Forge left. Okay, so we can do Decay or 2, which will do 3 to enemy units, which is pretty good. Or we um, add the ability that friendly units have plus 5 attack per, in per Echo. Oh, holy shit. I mean, this is scaling. Mm -hmm. We don't want anything to... Uh, maybe go scaling, I guess? Hard. Well, it could, because who, who do we have on the same floor as the Spine Chief? Like, ideally. The Wickless Baron and the... The other dude. The yeah. Extinguish. Right. So, so, so pr primarily the Wickless Baron, right? I actually think this is better because better? they'll die at Faster. the end of the turn, and then yeah, so oh, that way true. it guarantees that he'll get the harvest triggers. Right, because it's any unit that dies. Okay. Do we want this money? Yeah. Are we like really like gonna really want like? Is there a trinket store coming up? Yeah. Also, merchant of magic. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, I think we set up on the top, top floor. Or is it better set up on the middle floor? No, we probably set up on the top floor. Okay. It's pretty good. Put another bog chrysalis. And then reform on that floor so we get the proc on him. Oh, zero available. 
but I guess we still get the proc, right? Yeah. That's yeah, tough. Is it better to put a train steward in front of him to tank some damage, or is it better to start the infusion stuff? Yeah, I mean, probably start the infusion stuff. Pay attention to the middle floor, because I think our guy's going to die. You want to drip fall that big dude? Oh, this is going to die no matter what. That'll still work, right? Even if we don't have anything to, to extract, you have to spend it. Okay. No, I can't even... We have to do that first. Yeah, no, oh. we can just drift all both of them. Yeah. That might be best. And it gives us infusion, which is awesome. That floor is going to be hell. We can also give him hell, too. I mean, I think we got to start working on the, like, this. This is the floor that we need. Time he fucking showed up. I think that'll save everyone, won't it? Yeah. Then our top floor is like fucked. I think we're gonna die here, man. Nah. Yo, sick. Oh, there's two available for worm con uh, worm connections. Pretty good amount of damage. Our guys aren't even close to, to hatching. Yeah. We need to put some infused on there, so. I got like I don't even know, yeah. I mean how many more turns does it is it until they hatch? Four three. and three. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're not even gonna survive long enough to hatch.
Well, we're still winning. Forgotten trade, consume, gain plus one, uh, uh, oh, gain one energy per echo. Pretty good. Uh, ancient resonance infused, deal five damage to enemies per echo. Okay, and return soul. Did I mean, we... I think we go with this. That seems pretty good, yeah. Yeah, I think we skip. Um, uh, sure, yeah. Uh, merchant of trinkets or removing magic? Um, hard to say. I'm interested to see what trinkets we have since we have so much money. But, Card with consume is played. All cards gain plus one magic power for the rest of this battle. Yeah, I don't think we have anything that does like damage. Oh, yeah. this does. Oh, that does. Yeah. So that'll be the only card that's affected. Or draw plus one each turn, then return one card to the top of your draw pile. I'm assuming that's just at the end of your turn. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that seems pretty good. We got when you summon the second unit during your turn, gain three energy. Energy is pretty good. Um, gain two. Uh, to each floor at the start of the battle, that's really good. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I think yeah. we just buy this. Just buy that, yeah. And then I think... Okay. You want to grab Hell's Banners as well, or...? Yeah. Okay, so we have precious plating. Oh, uh, so a conscription notice. Uh, when you first summon your champion, gain a random unit card with plus 10, plus 10, and negative 1 cost. That's pretty good. Because also whenever you play a spell that would ascend or descend an enemy unit, also play apply 2 days. If the conscription notice wasn't here, I would say get iron drop cage. But the conscription notice is pretty yeah. good. Seems neat. Harvesters of death. Death obsessed clipped who gains strength with every kill. And if we do that, we can get a random artifact, but all the non boss enemy units will get multi strike. Nah. 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 Use a card to return. Interesting. We start returning a card. We'll do that one, yeah. The print of mold. Not even usable. Yeah, but it gives us an echo. Are you definitely going to play that this turn? Oh, you definitely are, because you're going to be playing two units. So I guess maybe uh, Dripfall? We don't need to apply days to anybody, right? We have to return a card. Well, yeah, okay. Interesting. Pop them all down here, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Did 
difficult, right? I think it might be good to put him in front, and then... Well, would we still be able to play uh, I guy? think we just hold him. Because, like, then we wouldn't, we're wouldn't. we not going to be able to put our salamander down there. Yeah, uh, this, I think this was a mistake. What? <laughs> Getting that thing is like, nah. Oh, whoops. Player minder. Oh, didn't we usually put the Wiggles Baron behind? Aw, oh, shit. Whoops. <laughs> Smart. S start giving him health. Ooh, this is a t this is a pretty crazy little situation we have ourselves in. Not enough. Pop another one in here. <laughs> Get him in while it's hot, right? We definitely need to put at least one infused on this floor to do anything good. No, oh, I forgot you existed. Holy shit, yeah. And these boys are not dead. Put him on the middle floor? No, he harvests. Okay. Might be good to play Batting Echoes before playing. Oh shit, I don't know. We've forgotten trade. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I was, I was saying for, for, forgotten trade, but we need to have infusion first. There you go. Yeah. Like burn out. 
Oh, but we can use Forgotten Trade on this one and get a bunch of uh, stuff that we can't even use. Yeah. <laughs> and none of our guys are going to do any damage down here, so they're all just going to die. That sucks. Nice. Still only doing 24 damage to him. Easy. And he's dead. Somehow. <laughs> That's so good. Can't even play that, yeah. Yeah, the problem is is we leak early. Yeah. I think we skip. Sure. Consume, reform to Yeah, this seemed pretty good. Gives us our consume and it reforms units. Well, how'd you work out for you? Were you able to work out all the kings? Here, let me take a look. What in the nine rings did you do to this thing? It looks like you tried to tear apart the rail with it. And then when that didn't work, you ran it over with the bone checker to forget about it altogether. Uh, it's going to take me a long time to get her back and healthy. A real long time. So I guess I'm coming with you. What? You're not going to let me come? So she has trample. Uh, and has resolve plus one capacity on this floor. The Titan spawn. I mean, sure. yeah, good. <laughs> really would like endless. Come on, yes, please. Reload? I don't know. Yeah. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be hard, dude. It's gonna be really hard. Because now we're going to be having to get rid of cards every turn that we might want to use. You know what I mean? Having less uh, cards we want. What do you mean? We, I just got rid of train stewards. We yeah, don't want those anyways. Yeah, but every turn we have to get rid of a card out of our hand, right? So I'm just saying we're going to have to start getting rid of cards out of our hand that we might want to be using sometimes. But I don't know. Maybe not. We, we won't have r random cards that we can just be like, eh, fuck it, I don't need that card. You know what I mean? As much. Lady of the House. How much health does she have? Huh. Is it good to put her on the... We don't have room on the top floor, do we? No. I wish we let him last longer, at least.
Fucking can't. Boys have sweep. No. Oh, that an attack cannot be damaged. Yeah, it's just like their thing. Oh, okay. Ooh, Hef. Tell us on the bottom. I guess we, we, we don't have anybody other than this butter. Here I was worried that we wouldn't have anything to eat every turn. I forgot that it puts it at the top of the draw piles. So you just get that every time. You can put her on the bottom floor. Nice. A pretty strong bottom floor now, actually. <laughs> Dude, I kind of hate this hand. Are you joking? No, I'm talking about the the hand that... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, yeah, that's... Yeah. I was saying earlier, like, I almost kind of regret it, but... <laughs> at the same time, you get plus one draw, so it's like... Do we have anything that we can kill with one hit and get a uh, wingmaker? I don't know. Oh, that gives it consume. Well, that'll do 30 damage to somebody then. Or is it just better just to get sharded? Or yeah. Play? Why does this have five still? I don't know. Maybe it goes in order that doesn't happen for both of them or some shit. Yeah. Makes it like considerably less good than what I was expecting. Okay, can't cast spells on that floor. If we yeah. Another bog chrysalis. I think this floor can be amazing if we just make sure we always have. We try to get infused on it, but it's hard because we also want to be playing the other stuff at the top, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if we can if we can mold our way into a. We definitely play that, yeah. But if we can mold our way into another unit to put in front of them, that'll be great.
You said it's like Zerg floor in the <laughs> middle there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if it really works with what we're doing, but this is our first round with this, you know. Forgotten trade, dude. He's like, well. <laughs> nice. Really, really like, like, it's made good by the fact that we get that proc for the consume. We need to get some infusion on this floor. But at the same time. He's way less die. good. Yeah. Oh, well, we have won. Pretty easily. Like, they're barely taking any damage at all. How's that even possible? Because it's stealth. Yeah, it's insane. So good. Oh, man. I love how it shows him getting more stuff off of the harvest. All right, so we have Formless Child. Uh, return random defeat unit to your hand, apply plus 40. Uh, damage and then hallowed halls kill all friendly units or will, well kill friendly units and then reform random units to this floor until it exceeds its capacity that's crazy might be good for the middle floor honestly <laughs> um, wax and spike consume apply plus three X is it apply three uh, damage for every energy that you put into it oh okay. and burn out one Oh. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, I don't think we need. Any I mean, of formless these. child's the only thing I could possibly make an argument for, but because you, you toss formless child in front of uh, our our guys upstairs, the, the turns that you don't have the other one, and then ho and if you know it's gonna die. Yeah, but it's to your hand. Well, I know so that. So it's not like you can play it. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's not going to be free, but it'll have plus 40 the next time it comes around, too. Yeah, burnout one, but like, we don't really have a burnout deck besides the one. Uh... Draw? I don't know, yeah. It's a, yeah. It's like, we're pretty good on capacity. I think we are? Okay. I mean, I think we go here. There's no um, 
upgrades for spells that might be good. I mean, I was just looking. It doesn't seem like there's anything that we absolutely need to have upgraded. Besides cost, making things cheap. That's the only thing that I can see as like an immediate agile bonus, but... I say we keep that in case we want to sacrifice it to get its effect where on Pawn Summon you get those two guys. Yeah, I think we just eat like one. give endless to <laughs> yeah I don't know I mean like yeah I don't think any of this is good bone shaker stuff nearby an abandoned remains of a train looking to have belonged to a merchant the train still seems to have some wares a few remaining goods from the clans of awoken stygian guard and mormkin are out in the open for the taking but taking something may cause the abandoned remains to fall to pieces we got a random consumable card there we go wormkin broken memories consume return to consume spell at the top of your draw file sure. and it collapses under its own way whoa <laughs> Unfortunately, most of those sounds were gated because it. <laughs> <laughs> Apply root five to enemy units. I didn't even look at the other one. Let's do it. Ooh. Bell shield. That's fine. Yeah, that's that's more than fine. It's just free money. How much health does that shattered thing that just came in have? The green? The left? Hmm. Let's say put that on the same floor as the uh I mean like the problem is is that we're not like We're not killing things early enough to scale quick enough, but like it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, he just dies immediately, and it's just going to fill up our pool of it. Well, I mean, I don't want to put him here because then we get the lady. Oh, you want to put her there? Put her there. Okay.
Tough choice. This, this turn feels like there's not a whole lot that you can really do that's great. Yeah. It's like, okay, you, you can put the bog crystals down here to spend your stuff down there, I guess. I think, you know, but they're just going to die immediately. Yeah. I mean, Driftfall might be good to use on somebody. I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know who. Like, I can Driftfall to make... Make him not do damage, basically. Yeah, right? but then the next floor is, like, nuts. It's really basically like the only card we can play too. Yeah. What do you do? Oh, you enchant with multi strike. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh, but now he's going to come back and he's going to just, like, multi-strike everyone. <laughs> Might want to drip fall one of those multi-strike guys again. I don't have to, because I killed. I'm going to kill them. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Killing anyone with Wingmaker? No. Damn. Wait. Oh, yeah. yeah. Scroll, scroll down. Oh, it's only doing 12 damage. Damn. Yeah, they all have spell shield. Yeah. You're already dead. Might as well. I this is the most successful um, middle floor we've had. As far as keeping up our infusion stuff. Yeah. No, I could have put that in there. Oh, fuck, yeah. Damn. Jack to give hell I don't even know dude. Oh that'll be nice. Oh it has a spell shield. It Can I have a shard? No. Is it better to put molten encasement on this floor for this turn? It's endless, so it'll be there for next time, right? Yeah, at least that kills him. And they do 140 damage now. Maybe it would be better to play a print. Oh. Okay. I mean. I guess it's for later, right? Yeah. I was just saying, putting on this floor, to, it'll make him do 30 damage, but yeah. And he's dead.
<laughs> You're fucked. Ambient charge, Ext extract three, infused, uh, draw three, apply consume to draw on spells. That's a crazy card that I don't even know if it's useful or bad or good or great. Like, I don't even know. Soul Siphon, consume, fill your stuff with the stuff and apply Emperor Drain to friendly enemy units. That seems great. It just fills it. I mean, true, but like, Emperor Drain. To friendly enemy, right? Um, so we'll get like no energy for the next forever. No, it's true. It seems cool. Reap 13? Let's consume. <laughs> uh, fatal melting. Do the damage to enemy units equal to three times the number of friendly unit deaths this battle. That's crazy. That's like a, a nuke if I ever saw one. Um, I think we just take crushing demise. Is it just me or does my mental mori look like knuckles and teeth at the same time? Yeah. Looks weird. A child eventually grew tired of judgment and bored of this realm. So we sent you judges, Herzal first and Malika soon after. We thought it best to leave you to your own survival. Ultimately, your free will led to your own demise, as well as others of divinity. Now, you are just grains of sand in an endless desert of time. Though I will admit, I have sensed a, a merging of late. Part of my divinity slipping away into your own soul. I suspect it to be part of our shared pact, a consequence of the collapsing of time. Does this give you hope? Sure, it does. Here we get Divine Traitor's Quill. When a card with consume is played, deal 60 damage to the front enemy unit, remove after one battle. Divine Infused Mallet. 50% chance to deal 10 damage when an enemy unit enters your train, remove after one battle. Okay. And then Divine Mark of the of an Exile. When you summon your champion, it gets plus 60% health, remove after one battle. Interesting. Is it better to have plus 60% health? Or yeah. better to have 60 damage which means we'll be doing 90 damage every time we play consume cards. I think 60% HP. Is that plus 60% of its health at the time of, of summoning? Or, yeah. So it would get 150 health? Something like that. Funny story about my controller. Dude fucking shit me someone else's controller again. Or is that the same thing? That, like, Because that would be insane if he did it twice. That would be insane. Dude, the Liam saga of the controller just keeps going. <laughs> it's like the Ross and Rachel of our time. Oh, so I have told you. Never mind. Okay. At least that at least it didn't happen twice. That would be insane. I mean, I think left. I don't know. Wait, yeah. that allows you to duplicate a card, right? Yeah. Let's dupe someone. Uh, upgrade a spell to gain permafrost. Upgrade a spell with plus 20 magic power and consume. <laughs> we could give consume to, wing to Wingmaker. Oh, making something cost negative one might be nice. Is it better to make one of our single cost cards, or yeah, mm -hmm. or two cost uh, single cost? It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like plus twenty magic power would be, would be good. It's cheap. Yeah, but it's only going to apply to the hammer. Yeah, but you'd be doing twenty six times two. Fade's first blade. Friendly units gain rage three whenever they lose a stack of burnout. Uh, flickers liquor. When you play a unit, a random card in the hand is reduced to zero cost until played or discarded. Yeah. Or spells get an extra upgrade slot. Let me just reroll. Units get an extra upgrade slot. Well, that's pointless now. Your pyre gets a plus 15 attack. Or 
apply days three to enemies on the bottom floor in the first wave of con combat. That's interesting. Man, all these seem pretty bad. We can't even use this. Why? How are we going to upgrade our... Our dudes. Well, I guess we could... Just for the future. Dude, this is it. We have the sacrifice thing, right? Yeah. But we're not going to sacrifice that much. I mean, Faulty Loader seems like something that... I mean, since we're going to be... Sp we have so much money anyways. Might as well just get it. And maybe also the Pyre, too. It's just one of those where it's like... You know... Hold over. Okay. I think we just take that. You're I'm shipping, shipping out, out tomorrow? tomorrow? Shipping out where? Engage packed. Ah, yes. The Bog Chrysalis Gambit. And I say we just upgrade the bog chrysalis with itself. So it'll on hatch it'll summon, but then also on play it'll summon. Or glare minder, but <laughs> I heard you like your bog chrysalis on bog chrysalis. Do you wanna upgrade anything else to make it oh yeah. we already hit hundred, we're fine. Oh, now we get to duplicate something. Oh, fun. You're duplicating Wingmaker might be nice. Um, or duplicate Hef. But, because right now we have like two good floors. Oh, it's hard. Maybe like, Echo Transfer is so good. I think we can have two floors with multiple. Yeah, content. that's a good idea. Yeah. Anything else we can buy? We can remove a card. Is there anything we want to remove? Like, I don't know. I'm scared. Maybe a droop fall? So we can't remove a droop fall? I mean, we can. They're oh, right there. there. Okay, you scroll past them. Okay. All right, Seraph the Patient. Not even that bad of a threat level. Ick. Serve attacks every turn, applies melee weakness to your front unit, and gains attack on rally and encant. All right. Okay. Oh, she'll kill both units right away. I'm just take 30 damage, but you know. Ooh, we also put the guard on that floor too. Or put the glare minder on the guard on the same floor. I don't know. Never mind. Capacity. Yeah. That's fine. We can put them on the middle floor. Yeah, we played that. I think we might lose our. Oh, it only does one extra damage. Okay. Oh, we can just play good old wings on the top floor. Oh, oh, you want it to it's save? It's going to summon those two. Will it summon it in front of them? I don't know. Guess we'll see. 
Yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> there we go, dude. Nice. No, we don't want to consume that. Almost made like a huge mistake. Nice. You want to play this on this one because we have our etch. It's so crazy, dude. Our bottom floor isn't just fucking weird. Hmm. Our bottom floor is so weird. Got our Zerglings out there. I don't want to like cast stuff on this floor because it makes him stronger. Yeah. Oh, nice. Dude, somehow our, our, uh, our little dudes are popping off now. In a very expendable manner, but, you know. I mean, we... Do we want to apply Soul Cripple to the boss? Yeah. <laughs> that fucking hero zergling. <laughs> They're just zerglings to me now. What does Crushing Mice do? Kills a random enemy. And a random friendly unit? I'm gonna put yeah. that on the middle floor and just see what happens. Well, why? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> if it was a bigger op enemy, I would say do it, but yeah. Definitely don't want to use it on that floor. Yeah. I don't want to get rid of any of these cards.
<laughs> it's a gift that keeps on giving, dude. <laughs> Dude, we could echo transfer the the little guy and he'll do 15 damage instead of zero damage. I just realized though it probably would have been better to put on the sweep unit, my bad. That was kinda of a dumb suggestion, but whatever. Could be worse. I mean, mine as well on the middle floor. Not gonna kill anything, right? But like, uh, it'll it'll make it so we'll actually do more damage to the boss. Playing the good old wing, whatever. Oh, get! Oh no, this, there's no enemies to kill with Wingmaker, but we could do damage with it, I guess. But it's taking like 89 damage from our shit. Yeah. Just to have. He's actually doing 376 damage. Oh, oh, because the sniper stacks. Fucking sick, dude. The last divinity. Gain shard of divinity. The last divinity attacks your power every turn. Its damage increases for for every ten. Oh shit. Stacks of whatever. Good thing we have a lot of shard health. Trample. What is this? Weep. We don't care about sweep. We don't? Yeah, I mean... Uh, I mean, we'd like not to care about sweep. Um, having these guys on, on days the first turn makes it more possible for us to put our spine chief on the first floor and like have our first floor be the wickless baron floor but it's tough that's a tough decision just to make right off the bat like this you know what I mean yeah well look at the damage we're doing with the spine chief and our wickless baron so we're doing 15 plus uh, 10 scroll down we would not we would not kill anybody so the it would be better just to put Hef on the first floor. Well, we would be killing some people if we infused and then played another ship. Oh, that's true. We get like one. Yeah. We just wouldn't be able to play our Glare Reminder or our Hef if we did that. Oh no, we would because yeah. we get three energy on our second unit. 
Oh, smart, yeah. Yo, a steel dude. Nice. glare miner on the top floor or in the back of the uh, yeah yeah there's nowhere to put him besides the top he'll just die well he won't necessarily die Now he's dead. Fuck. Why? Because you upped somebody's something with an, with an encant of some type, I think. Triggers on death. Okay, that's what it is. What we have to do is we can play... Well, we don't have to, but we can play the bog crystals in front of him to save. Hmm. Good, they're all dying. <laughs> Good. They're all dying. Actually, that sucks because no, that's really good because we need to have the space so we can fit our. No, no, I like I, I get that, and and I guess we just reform them. Yeah. doing the most damage. Your covenant was alive meant to trap heaven. Okay. Why didn't that reap everybody on the floor? I don't know. I think, I think it's because he transcends floors. He's, he's going to take 52 damage now. Dude, I hate how you can't, like, scroll. I know. Why'd you put them in front of her? Because he figures she's more important to keep alive? Yeah. Dude, work machines. This is crazy. If you do another consume, then, uh, or if you do Sacred Wicks on this one, you might kill that, that front unit. Or you might make it so the front unit will die. Oh, he's gonna die.
See, that time it reaped. Huh. Weird. I haven't taken direct power damage, at least. Oh, they're at the seven unit capacity. No. Yeah, put it up there. Yeah. This is insane. Did my energy kind of bad that turn? Yeah, it's alright. Oopsies. Okay. Or is that a confusion? Good boy. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, dude. You guys aren't killing them on this floor? The hell? Dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. I think we did a, I think we actually had a better outcome than Rhapsody had. Because he had negative forty but he had negative fifty percent at the end of that battle and we and we had negative forty eight percent. Really we should have our Baron there, but I'm pretty sure it's already <laughs> Big sludge. 
Two mutants get plus 30 health and burn out. New personal record days is applied. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Aww. That was fun. What a good friggin' run. Yeah, well, it was two hours. <laughs> it was two hours, but it was a good time. And our Wickless Baron was insane. And our uh, bog flies started popping off. In the weirdest way. Yeah. Because then, on a lot of those floors, we would have like the burnout one, on the bog fly shell yeah. egg, and, so and it then just... it would summon with five shards on that or echo whatever the thing, the candy on the floor already, and it would just pop next turn. Yeah, before it would burn out. It happened like twice. I saw that and I was like, holy shit. Oh, that's so cool. Well, thanks everyone so much for coming in and for watching. Thanks, uh, Corn, for stopping by and Liam for stopping by. I realized he said I'm shipping out tomorrow, meaning I'm shipping my controller out. The way he said I'm shipping, I thought he was saying... Yeah, I thought he was uh, joining the military. Joining the military. I was like, oh, what? Uh, that's new. But, uh, yeah, Wormkin, sick. The last new, Divinity, well, sick. Last Divinity, sick, yeah. Uh, is, 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 like, this is our only chance to play this, right? Uh, I think so, until the DLC is released. And there's no like indication when that's gonna be. I don't know. <laughs> I have to check their press release or whatever. Gotcha. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.